Now, in his address at the UN General Assembly in New York, Russia's foreign minister accused the US and its allies of double standards in their current military operation in the Middle East. Let's get the details from RT's Marina Portnaya, who joins us live on the line now. Uh, good to see you, Marina. What exactly, just take us through, what did the foreign minister have to say? Well, it's no secret that relations between Russia and the U.S. have turned uh, quite tense in the past year, and that was clearly articulated in this speech and address delivered by Russia's Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov. Addressing the international body, he spoke specifically about uh, the U.S.-led Western alliance uh, that champions itself as a rule of law. He said does exactly the opposite. He pointed to examples saying unilateral use of military force uh, has become the norm, and the sustainability of, interna of the international system has been shaken by actions in Yugoslavia, in Afghanistan, in Iraq, in Libya. Obviously, he was re referring to U.S.-led uh, military actions in all of those countries. He believes that after uh, all those actions have taken place, looking back uh, for more than a decade, uh, he believes that the, the world has become more unstable, that uh, the, the, the concern over terrorism has uh, only increased uh, as a result of unilateral action. Uh, Sergei Lavrov said that Russia is committed to the international fight against uh, terrorism terrorism uh, and has always stayed committed to that, but he did warn against the temptation of making allies uh, out of anyone who proclaimed to be fighting the Syrian government of Bashar Assad. Uh, he said that has been the course over the past few years, and that has also uh, led to an increase uh, in extremism in terrorist, uh, terrorist groups like ISIS, al-Nusra. Uh, he reiterated that uh, Russia has uh, supplied the governments uh, of Syria and Iraq with uh, weapons and will continue to do so because Russia will be working with governments to fight terrorism, not working within the opposition. Uh, he believes that is how the international community should be dealing uh, with the, the growing problem of terrorism, is working with the governments, uh, not coming in and paving their own path. Uh, so we did hear uh, uh, Sergei Lavrov speak about many, many more issues, but uh, in this speech he, he hit it hard against the U.S. and, and Western uh, allies. Uh, and, and how they are dealing with the, the, the uh, concern about terrorism uh, at the present day. Generally, everyone agrees that it is a key issue to resolutely counter terrorists, that being the case. This task should not be sacrificed to ideological schemes or the desire to settle personal scores. Moreover, it goes without saying that the fight against terrorism should rely on a solid foundation of international law, and to the contrary, attempts to contravene the charter of our organization do not contribute to the success of joint efforts. The struggle against terrorists on the territory of Syria should be organized in cooperation with the Syrian government, which which has clearly stated its readiness to join it. Wrapping up his speech, Foreign Minister Lavrov said that it uh, should not be allowed for a national egoism to trump international responsibility. He said that all countries need to move forward in a matter of mutual respect and take one another's interests into account. If that happens, he believes that uh, the, the UN could uh, serve as a, a much stronger uh, body to help combat all the world's problems. OK, thanks very much to our correspondent Marina Port and I bringing you the very latest analysis from the UN General Assembly in New York. Thank you.